We actually had a problem with that web frame. The only one we've ever had. It actually delaminated. It just basically fell apart. So today is actually the largest tide we're going to see for a long time. It's actually a 10 meter today. So what we're going to do now, because we fitted the exhaust bolts, which went really well. Do you like our jack? I thought it was quite cool. What we're going to do is put the web frame in. Paint's still a bit wet. And we thought, well, we may as well now, we can undo the other exhaust bolts. Not that the exhaust was going to fall off anyway, but we now know it's got a different securing point, don't we? Right, so let's, let's work on the last frame and web frame. We've already laminated the web frame for there, so what we need to do now is take out the frame and the knee. So we'll give this knee now to Gemma. She'll be dead happy that she's got something to do. <laughs> Little. So. I told you she'd be happy. <laughs> I'm actually doing a different method this time on the knees. I'm using the Terracoon. 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 Sounds like a friendly little bird, doesn't it, in the, in the Amazon rainforest? Yeah, it's creating less sort of like dust from instead of the grinder. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just at my favourite point, struggling to get the copper nails out of them. Got one out. <laughs> The problem with copper, every time you hit it, it expands, doesn't it? So it's like, <laughs> it just expands in the hole, it's a pain in the ass. I was half expecting them old fixings just to like disintegrate, but they didn't, so that's probably quite good. The exhaust's not going to fall off just yet. Loads of meat still on them.
that. Make the most of that. Why? Because that's the last one we're going to be doing for a long time. It is, isn't it? Until we get to the back end of the boat. And hopefully the frames are all good in the back end of the boat, but obviously we know it's not in the transom. <sighs> yes. Because, yeah, obviously after we've finished the woodwork in the engine room, we'll all be straight on to <laughs> all that work up there. Oh, that's so, actually quite relieving. So savour it. <laughs> savour the moment. I know you love it. I hate it. But, obviously, it's the last one in the first half of the boat. Imagine when we're at this point of actually doing the last, last knee. That's going to be awesome, isn't it? I think you should paint it, paint it copper. The last one? Yeah. Like the celebratory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, it's all these little milestones, isn't it? That actually, it might not be a lot like, oh, that's the last knee that you're going to do for a while. But it is, it's, it's a milestone, isn't it? Okay. That's made me happier now. Right, go back to work. You were attached to it. Right, so I've cut the scarf on the web frame and the frame. That frame's away now. So we've got a sister to do, a frame to do, a packer to do, two web frames to fit and two knees. We've got a boat dog today. Haven't we? This is Maggie. So we've got Simon's mum here and she is going to have a little tidy and organised for us, aren't you? Sort of all the rubbish. Because we've got loads and loads and loads of rubbish and it's all everywhere so she's going to make it easier for us to offload when we do the next rubbish run. Alright. It's okay. <laughs> Novice camera people. I'm just doing what? Yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 a little bit of thinned epoxy. Stop unthickened epoxy, anyway. Right, so because this is the last frame in the engine room, Gemma's going to do it because I've done them all on her. So we'll, we'll let Gemma knock knock this one in. Well, I'll try. Gemma's going to try. So here's a frame coming down now. So. I'll try and guide it a bit. Right. So that's good alignment there. Two seconds, Gem. Right, you start giving it a little, little knock if you want. Feel like I'm moving because the water's getting past that fast. So today is actually the largest tide we're going to see for a long time. It's actually a 10 metre today. Well, we get two big tides. We get one in March, we get one in October. Um, so yeah, today is a 10 metre tide. 10 metres. So... How big's that? You ever caught a fish that big? <laughs> no. So obviously it's a, it's a massive range. Yeah. So we've, we've set a time lapse up. So you might see the boat going all the way up, all about down. I mean, we might go over the camera and kill him. We don't know. I mean, we just don't know. It'll be interesting to see how high it goes, won't it? Yeah. Right. Last frame. Let's go. We're rocking. Okay. Right. Just go down at that. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, go down with that. Right, pause there.
All right, so we've got another inch to go. But okay. we'll do it in, inc in increments, yeah? You ready? Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Slowly, slowly, slowly. All right, smaller hits now. A bit more. A bit more. One, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay, pause there. Yeah, that's good, that. The last frame in the engine room. Woo! Yeah. Especially this corner's awkward as anything. <laughs> under this thing. And weirdly, it's been freezing. You can't really have it on because it's like Dead loud. too noisy. <laughs> and you burn your bum. Yeah, it's just typical, isn't it? Right, what's next? Um, a stringer. Sister. Yes. Sister. Well, we're going to put a sister on a stringer because it has Good a bit plan. of a crack in it. So, yeah, we're going to put a sister all, all, all the way along there. Primarily because it's got a bit of damage around there. And it's the only chance we can do it before the web frames go on. So, right, let's go and cut with them, get with them fitted, and then it'll be done. Right, it's good. It's exciting, this. We'll almost finished the boring stuff. Looks like we're underway, doesn't it? It's on a big tide like today. Let's see how much water we've got underneath us. We haven't got a lead line. We haven't got a lead line. Oh, there you go. Right, I'm on the bottom now. Can you reference that there? Yeah. There. Six foot nine. So that's six foot nine, and our draft is five foot five. Ooh. So we'll have just like a foot sort of thing. I have a lot of digging to do with the front. <laughs> yeah. So technically we could go sideways. Only just to the, onto the mud. So I've just made a sister, I've just had to reveal it. Reveal it, is that what it's called? Put it all in it. Just revealed it itself, because of these nails here. Now, 
we'll get some bolts out, get some glue out, and then we'll have to force it in a little bit because of the whole curves. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'll make the packer. Okay, yep. Right, let's get this fit. So we'll bolt it up, or we'll clamp it up, drill it, then we'll move it back and then we'll put the bolts in it, um, then we'll put the glue in it. I think I'll go with the masking tape because I know I'll put my hands in that ooze. Right, so I've made the packers. Let's glue them up. Mm. One packer, ha ha ha. Stay there. Get the screws. It's just not the right bit, is it? Make sure I'm putting it on the right one. <laughs> It'd be funny, wouldn't it? Okay. Okay, so now we mark it. I will show you, but there's no room. Okay, we're going to cut that one. Yeah. Right, so we've got that web frame in. So it's been a few days since 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 we were last here. We actually had a problem with that web frame. The only one we've ever had. It actually delaminated. It just basically fell apart. <sighs> At the time I was like, right, okay, let's just walk away. Proper proper stressed me out. I was just like, I just do you know when you just don't know what the problem is? Still don't know what the problem is, but this one, like, this one web frame, it's as if I didn't mix the glue right, maybe. Every other one is perfectly fine, so there must have been an error with us mixing the glue. And I, man I managed to delaminate it, take it all apart, I've sanded it, re-glued it, very, very cautious on me, on my measurements and stuff like that. So it's now in i did it in position I didn't film any of it because i was that stressed out with it i just thought sod that right let's move on so now we need to do fit this one this one's already been laminated so let's get this one fitted do you know our youtube channel is called ship happens yeah and it sounds like something else doesn't it you wouldn't believe it the second one has just delaminated itself let's go have a look so, bear in mind, that had a massive curve in it before. I've just, uh, I've just start, started to cut the top, and then it just instantly did that itself. 
Okay, so I'm predicting now. Put my foot under there, hold the camera. If you can see all the glow. But then, it's almost dry. I just don't understand it. Why has it gone dry? This is the only ones that I've ever done this. We've never ever had a problem. I need to ring West. I need to ring Richard from West to see what he recommends. But I don't. I just don't understand it. Maybe it's the weather, humidity. I don't know. No, I'll ring Richard and then we'll find out. I'm not sure if it's something to do with the extreme curves. If you look at, I'll put, put another piece of oak in there now, look how much it's got to bend. I just don't know whether that's got something to do with it. What I'm tempted to do on the very last web frame on this side is to steam the last one. I've been so desperate, desperate to get this engine room finished. It's dragging on far too long in my head. I know this should have been done a lot sooner. Just want it finished and we can move on. All right, I think I might have settled the steamer and then we'll steam the last one because I quite enjoy steaming anyway. But we've still got a big way to go, so we still might break this one. And you see, like the distance got like a good two foot to bend there, piece of oak. So, right, let's set the steamer up. And then we'll also have a conversation with Richard. And then we'll see how we go. So I've got a piece of oak. I haven't done steaming for a while. I have to go around and find all my stuff. So what we've got. Big steel pipe with some bit of insulation on it. So we've got a wallpaper stripper. The only fresh water I could find to do this. Could have maybe used salt water, but I don't know. Um, is out of our drain buckets. This is fresh water, be okay. So this generates steam, goes along that pipe, into there, where we've got our oak. And I think they recommend uh, an hour and a half per inch of thickness. So we need about two hours. So this is generate this this steam is drawing 2000 watts so it's like having the kettle on so in a minute i'm going to go and start the generator and we'll start a timer as well so um we know how long it's going to be but i'm still not convinced whether we're going to actually get it to conform because that is a big curve that so let's hope we can make this piece of oak like rubber oh yeah i brought it inside as well obviously you noticed that but they usually do it outside but it's it's howling out there at the moment and um, the only problem is going to generate, generate a bit of steam and um, usually get a bit of dribble off. So what I've done is I've set it up on a bit of an angle that way. So any dribble off will go down there, right into the bilge. And we can pump it out, which is going into like other, other water in the bilge, isn't it? So I've just spoke to West System, look like I've got a stupid hat on. And basically, because it's such a massive curve and we're using oak. So oak has loads of energy. Oak just wants to strain itself out. Doesn't care, it wants to continue its life on how it grew in the tree. It wants to stay straight. We've curved it, put it all together. We then take it off. We then, we then leave it, don't we? We then leave it a while because then we paint it, it slowly straightens itself out. There's massive tension going on. Then I start cutting it, putting it in the vise, knocking it, doing whatever, sanding it. And he goes, ah, okay. Because, sorry, epoxy, all epoxy has a 4%, 4% flex. So you can, you can flex 4%. And because it's trying to strain itself out, so it's getting straighter and straighter, it, the epoxy then goes, no, nah, I can't handle this. So we're basically using the wrong products. There is actually a West System product called G-Flex. So you said you can use G-Flex, because that has a 30% flex, which is, is quite a lot really, isn't it? We haven't got that, but he also said, if we can laminate it, if I can laminate it in position, then it stays there and we can fix it. And it never actually, 
goes beyond, well, it never, it ne will never try and straighten itself out, then that's per perfectly fine. Because mm. I think where, where we're actually working now in the boat is the biggest curve what we've, we've done, really, when you think about it. So that's why we're having problems with these ones. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, obviously, I've, I've split, split them all apart. I'm now going to sand, sand them all, glue them all up, and then put them in position and fix it. Then it'll never, it'll never move from that shape unless the boat falls apart, will it? So right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sand all these up and then throw, throw, throw them back in with some fixings. It's not. This is stressing me out. This. Right. Let's do it. You can actually see how much they've straightened themselves out already. I mean, that's like two. That was meant to be that way, but you can just see. So they are, they have tried to, try to go straight. So we put a stick in the ground to see how high the water was and it went up to there today so nearly as high as me was the change in the height of the tide it's remarkable that really isn't it so that's that's where the tide was and all the way over here it come up to there so that's where we had the time lapse running from off our troll bridge. So there's the water line. Look. Wow. Oh yeah, and I'm bleeding. <laughs> Don't know how I did that. But so that is like you gotta take measure? No, I have. So how high off the the bridge was it? Wow, 1,070. I've got to get your camera off. We didn't bring any snips. Bring any snips. You lift it off or? Yeah, hold on, Jeff. So it's mad to think. Well, unfortunately, it's still, it's gone off. It's mad to think that where you were there, put your hands where the water line was. That's how deep it was, like an hour ago. It is weird, isn't it? The water even got all the way up the road and a good foot and a half up the wall. Right, so it's a few days later. This is now like stronger than anything now. That was so difficult to get it in. The amount of curve 
and as well I had to get it past if you remember the finger forward to get the screw out so I had to get it past there all three of them pieces full of glue trying to get it in get it sideways anyway stop moaning Simon stop moaning channel is it I've done a bit of moaning recently right what do we do now so we're going to get the the knees in secure these deck beams again because the, these have been flapping around for a while so Jem has done a fantastic job of prepping the knees so let's get them on so it's been ages to work out which one's which but we figured out on the end Exchange doing two at once. As we know and we've said previously these aren't the the final fixture because they'll have copper going right through but i'm only putting these in for now because like if we have to change the height of them it's a lot easier to do it now to do it with these than it will be with the copper because when the deck beams go on it'd be nice for the deck beams just to go straight on these will all be perfect in a line um technically we don't know whether they all line up yet so it gives us a bit of scope doesn't it So it's come across a lot of problem. We put the screws in the packer to hold position. We usually miss them. All the screws are doing are holding position, so of this packer here, but now I've, I've tried to drill all the way through. Typical in it, you, you hit the screw. Now sort of drill slightly to one side, doesn't really matter how the fixing goes through, doesn't all have to be perfectly parallel, does it? I mean in hindsight, you should put the knee up, you should figure out where where it's going, do all these calculations. Um, Perfect. Slightly touching the screw in it, but I don't think anyone's going to notice. Alright, whack some big bolts through now. And we'll tie it all up. A bit crap behind that one. Use this hammer. So, as you can see there's like a little gap there between the knee and the web frame. We know the knee's in the right location because we put the fixings through there. So the hole here has actually gone out slightly. So what we need to do now is bring the hole back to the original location. So hence why we use a big piece of threaded bar 
I'm just going to go through there, all the way through the hole. And then we'll go outside, we'll put a knot on it, and hopefully it'll all pull too. Give it a try. So the bolts will now come out right through the hole, through the planks. So we'll put a big washer and a nut on that now, then we'll tighten it up. And it's a beautiful day, look at this. Problem is, it needs to be in two places at one stone. It needs to be on the inside, tightening it up, and then it needs to be on the outside, holding the nut with a spanner. Luckily, we've got Robbie here today. He's actually filming, filming, um, removing his cabin, basically. I'm not too sure whether you'll see the episode before this or after this. Who knows, boys? Just have a quick look what he's doing and go and ask him if he can lean over the side of the boat. Quite an ask, isn't it, really? Alright lad. What the hell have you done? Oh, uh, you did say this cabin, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God for that, man. Just trying to think of something smart and say that. No, not that cabin, a different one. But yeah. Anyway, that's all you're going to see in that one for now. You have to tune in and watch Robbo's episode. Can you come and help me do some spannering? I can do that. Cool, thank you. I'll meet, I'll meet you, bro. Alright. <laughs> what more can I ask for? <laughs> He doesn't know he's got to lean over the side of the boat yet, but... Uh, yeah. Right, so your little nuts are just overhanging there. See them? Yeah, I'm, I'm in here, are Just these two? Yeah, that's that it. Cool. No worries. So I'm going to go on the inside with the impact gun. All Robbo's doing, I'll do is hold it back. Let's see if Robbo can hold it back from the... Um... Power. Bo -bo 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 -bo. I'm scared. You're scared. Uh, we'll start with the forward one. Oh, uh, which one are you on? The, one, the one to this side. Yeah, okay. Going out. I've run out of threads here. Um, I'll give it a tweak. Okay, so the aft one, are you ready? Yeah, go. So hopefully this one pulls it in a bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Move loads then. You happy? Yeah, it's good that. Alright, so that's pulled it in quite nice now. It's quite weird how you see the whole hull move. It's like, should it move that easy? Obviously there's no beam shelf there, is there or anything? So I can imagine if you just get all the top of the hull, you could you could move it like a canoe, couldn't you? Right, so we'll put some more fixings in these. Right, so the, the knees are back in now. Web frames are in, it's all tied together. Deck can't move, hull can't move. Nice and nice and nice and strong. So I think another factor is when we basically laminated the web frames, because there's such a massive curve. So this one here. On this one, the, the whole each other out, aren't they? So, so because because of the length of the outside one and the and the uh, and the length of the inside one, because the, the inside one's shorter, they're trying to straighten themselves out on this. So they're constantly fighting. So I go cut it, remove part of the end of it, it comes off. But it's a it, it's a force that way, isn't it? So it's sliding. So I think my my surface prep could have been better. Um, because they've basically just been going through through the planer. I've been focusing more on the actual thickness, so to make sure that the actual thickness of the web frame is to spec is to the same size as the original. So I think maybe in the future we actually we don't plane them. We just basically cut them with the saw and then we can then sand them or make them all nice after they've been laminated. Maybe I don't know. What do you guys think? Or do we use a different material? Because when we go further aft. The boat gets more curvy because we've been work, working working from the bow where it's basically pretty straight coming down it's getting more and more and more curvy so we're gonna we're gonna be seeing a bit more of these sort of issues um so yeah maybe there was a different material we could use rather than oak oak's really expensive i use oak because it's like to my knowledge it's really 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 strong um but there might be a better material. So if you guys have got any good ideas about that, um, please leave us something in the comments, leave, leave us a message and, I don't know, because you say we don't know that much about real wood. So, thank you very much for watching. 
thank you for Robbo to come in to help us. Obviously, you'll see an episode of Robbo's coming up. You might have seen it before, you might have seen it after, but he's doing a good job of sort of helping us. It takes a long time to sort of get rid of all the rubbish and stuff. So, yeah, thank you to all the patrons. Just thank you for watching. So, with you guys watching, it makes, makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Yeah, thank you. See you again. Bye bye.